Hey everyone, this is the road that we filmed flooding a massive street, part one and part two, over the past two summer times. We always get a downpour, it floods. There's a smaller flood right now blocking one lane. We're going to jump out and clear it. That right there, this picture I'm showing on the screen is what it looks like after a heavy summer rainstorm. Oh, here it is. Look at this. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. I just drove by it in the other lane. I know it's nighttime and it doesn't matter because there's no traffic, but nobody's going to drive on the sidewalk this time. Right at the end of it, I'm going to park and... parking lot right now. I'm not going to go on there myself. I'm going to back up crooked. Because if I'm not crooked, they can easily get around me. I'm going to stop right here, go in the park, and let's get out and drain it. Perfect. Don't even need lights. We're right underneath a street lamp. Look at this, some tree limbs have fallen since. The arrows help out when the flood's low, that they added. And here. Here we go, nice. That car went around, that's nice. Alright, looking good. And while we're here, we're going to unclog across the street. It's not flooding, but it looks pretty bad. Oh, and then we have the sidewalk drain. We forgot about that one. I'm going to look at that one last. Blocking the sidewalk with the vehicle is just... I'm, since I've heard somebody say that in the comments, I've just always wanted to do it. Today is... Um, doesn't even matter. There's no traffic. Oh, and I better get that out of the road. There's somebody's skid plate fell off from driving through the flood too fast. That's what happens when you drive through a flood too fast. Driving fast through it also throws the water up high where your intake is. That stuff is so waterlogged and heavy, it's a workout moving it. Alright, what I did kind of helped, but not really, because next big storm, all this junk along the side will easily get collected and plug it up again. And in this area, because the PW just doesn't care, 
if you leave things like this, it'll sit here forever. So I'm going to go throw it over here. Next to this trash can where they'll grab it. And there's no sidewalk flood today. That drain's working all good. Let's go check that out. Today it's late January 2021. Yeah, not even a clog on that one. Because during the big summer what happens is there's a football field here that they just re-engineered about two or three years ago. They regraded the entire thing, ripping it up. Had a massive pile. And they graded it. There's a channel in the middle of the field. So everything, all the watershed is aimed at that drain. Through these woods where it collects leaves, plugging it, flooding the sidewalk, going over the center divide, flooding the road, jamming those drains. It's all because of this. They spent millions and millions regrading that field. Why couldn't they put an extension from this drain and had another drain in there? That would have solved the whole thing. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but the field is flooded. Let me show you that. We're gonna walk over there. I just gotta grab my floodlight again and put the rake away. Put this piece of junk near a Let's see what kind of car this is from. If it even says. Honda. All right. We're walking over into the field. Just by looking at the grass, this recent rain in the past few days is bringing it out of hibernation. All right, let's go. There's at least a half a foot of water over here. So the situation is, if you can make it out, I don't think there's enough daylight yet. This is a drainage ditch. See, it's going all the way up through the field. They have the entire field, this end and this end, slanted towards the middle where it all collects. Look at that water flowing. That's a ton of water. In the summer, it's even more. You see, it's even rocks on the bottom. It's like a little stream going up through the whole field. Sometimes it rages so hard that over right here where it's flooding, it picks up all those leaves like I just said in these woods, plants them all in the road jamming up every single drain. Now the whole thing would have been prevented if why didn't they just put a drain right here at the end of the ditch? It's only like a hundred feet of pipe. That's nothing when they did a multi-million dollar project. All they did was screw themselves over because the guys who have to clean it, they're in the union. It doesn't matter if it floods or not. They still get paid. And there's not enough of them to do it, so all it does is causes big floods here when no one else is around to do it. And they didn't even really need a drain here. They could have just had an open culvert grabbing this entire thing. Because in the summer, lawn clippings would surely clog it. And no one's going to unclog that, but maybe the school janitor over there. Should have just had an open culvert. And it could have been completely separate from the drain system. You could have treated this thing as a temporary stream. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Man, it's a good amount of water here. Going the entire distance of the woods. Because this woods is acting like a dam itself. But when the water here gets too deep, it starts moving debris. This is another multi-million dollar mistake, like the lake drain. Not sure if I'll post it today with this video, but we're about to go take a look at that too. It's late January.